What's up guys? It has been a long, long time since I have streamed, posted, played anything on this channel. And I've been kind of pondering over the last couple weeks. And I think what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing some Let's Plays because I have a ton of games to play. I'm going to be doing Let's Plays on this channel. And my Battlefield 4 and my COD are going to be on the QP Live, which is pretty much what I advertise all over this place. Um, and yeah, I just I, I kind of want to do Let's Plays on this one just because I think it is uh, hopefully going to be a good thing. Um, I'm going to give you guys constant content. It will all be live, of course. That's just how I roll. And um, my daughter's somewhere behind me, but she's got her headphones in watching her iPad. So uh, the... Th First game that I'm going to be starting with uh, as from a live Let's Play standpoint is going to be The Walking Dead. Now this game has been around for a while. I have not, I've actually owned it for quite a bit too, but I have not had the chance to play it yet. So I literally, I have no idea what I'm doing. The only thing that I've gone and done is turn the actual in-game music off to cross my fingers, hopefully avoid any copyright strikes or anything along those lines. So I'm going to go ahead and transition over, and then I'm going to get started. So I will see you guys in a second, as that takes forever. You guys can see that now. But i got to bring the chat over. Somebody's already chatting. Shit. Yeah, Scott B., eat me. Is that you, Midget? That's got to be you. Um, yeah, I haven't been that happy with Twitch, so I'm going to... Come back to what I know, uh, what I enjoyed, and what I had fun with. So, yeah, go ahead and play. Uh, I'm going to need hints and shit. Episode 1, A New Day. That should not bode well for me. Ba, ba, ba. There's probably music there, but better off if I just leave it alone. That's loud. I'm not skipping any cutscenes or anything either. It's, the Midge don't watch, bro. Go play LOL. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Because guys in your position already said it enough. <laughs> I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. You've got an opinion then? Wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing. Even considering who they say you kill. <laughs> I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? You wanna know how I see it? Sure. No response? Could be you just married the wrong woman. <sighs> I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. 
he wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options... God, I should have said fuck you. Mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other What's time... That? I didn't have my seatbelt on. See? Thanks. You're welcome. I'm being grouchy. What's up, Rob? How you doing, bro? What do with the keys here? Oh. Shit. Guy's all paranoid and shit. Here. What happened? What happened? Just stop. Back up. Uh, 
Get away from me! There we go. Well, I didn't live long. <laughs> Fail. Confused as to what to do there for a minute. Get away from me. Am I you? Get in there. Shut it down, bro. Skin's all rotten. He smells like shit. What the hell is this? Am I dead? Hey! Are you dead? Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! Oh, yeah, it's a problem, bro. <laughs> Better get up. Run, motherfucker, run. Still ain't figured out how to climb a fence. Motherfucker, there is ugly. I hope you trip and fall over the radio flyer. That'd be amazing. Yeah, you just broke into somebody's house, and you're not an intruder. These people might need more help than I do. Okay, that was exciting. Watch your step, bro. Marshals, that's a Savannah area code. That's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. The 
This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. Walkie talkie, I'll take it. What is that? Beep. Water give me the hiv. Oh, I didn't even look at these. I want to live. Fucking head falls out of me. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna freak out. I'm not gonna lie. Already opened this drawer, didn't I? Yeah, empty. Careful of that blood. I'm paying the camera around. Unicorn power. Left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before the spring break. Message two. Left at 11.19. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 651. Listen to this one. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. Nine one one. We love you. We love you. We love you. So I gotta find this chick. Huh? Walkie talkie. Hello? What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Oh, God. Oh, Q, 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 Q. E, 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 E. Oh, God damn it. Buttons. Motherfucker can't walk for shit.
Just for good measure. And one more. Adventures and babysitting, that's awesome. Man. Hi there. It's Q and E. Did you kill it? Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Don't forget the hammer. Get the hammer. Why are you running, little girl? Can't you see I got a bone wheel? Oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mom at this rate. This sucks. You know, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna <laughs> hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chop. What are you doing? Trying to get home. This neighborhood's a disaster. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. Chet, you know, see my hot tub? How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Babysitters go. Oh, Chet's a Tito. Nice. Take. 
Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. God, I keep it hearing his nice name Sean, and people. that's my name. It's weird. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. I reckon down the way things his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chad. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah. It's not doing so good. Might help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That so? Where were you headed before the car accident? Home. Where's home? I grew up in Macon. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Nobody. Is that so? Yeah. It is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. We got Damn another it. displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. We're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks you have a lot of time to make a board. decision. We gotta do it, really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be perfect. <laughs> There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. Sleeping in the barn, sleeping in the barn. It smells like shit. Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. Shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. I missed my mom and dad. I bet. Uh, how far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay.
Get up. Now that's a pedo. What an itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy's scared of Andy's all the way, a dick. Huh? I'm uh, not a bad big sleep. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in no offense. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! <laughs> uh, he makes up for it with enthusiasm. Nothing like a father's Where love. On your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets a job done. Okay. Give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill. I'm good. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No. Doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Oh shit, Dan. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. You don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to offer one yet? Oh. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Not too close to my family. Oh. Well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. What's with all the memories? Do you uh, think this thing will keep them out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. No. Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. How you doing, Doug? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Let's see if he figures out how to put in gear, we're all in trouble. Hey, 
there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful. just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. I don't have to say anything. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in the right mind. Families, barbecues, and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? Those go support. <laughs> so, uh, what do you do when the corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, eh? Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No. I used to. I was let go a little while back. Well, that's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Anything over here? No. Hell's Herschel. Hey there, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. The government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. The odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. We're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. Can I not? Can I go inside the house? Having a nice time. Oh, there's her. Yeah. Well, not here a minute ago, brah. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stay here in that honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. Get out of Atlanta. I was on my way out anyway. The timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh, 
river is a good time for this pose of apocalypse. This farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> if you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family. Yes, so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to? Yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? No family. I had a beta fish on my desk at the university. I hope someone remembered to feed him. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Give you a piece of advice. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar real fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're not making. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Go! I'll get my gun! Oh, shit. Pop him. Pop him like I said. I'm okay, Pop. I'm okay. I can fix you. Don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It, it almost... It almost got me, man. It, they tried to save me. So I guess I got Herschel's trust in that. Guess not. I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. I wasn't strong enough. I'm sorry. If your girl is ever trapped, you better hope you get stronger, or your friends aren't cowards. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. Oh well. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. I want to gank the shotgun.
That does not sound good. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! Definitely ain't friendly. Kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. Put your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. I don't care, I didn't shut with up, Kenny. Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing them out now. Knock this guy out. Happen. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Come <in> time. <laughs> All this dude can do this trip. Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Oh, thank you. Thank you.
You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Heart attack, man. Was he the one bitten? No, don't be crazy. It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitrogen. I'm such a nice guy. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here. Out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You're insane. Well, it's got to get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know make it. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot. And I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Damaged. Yeah, this place didn't get looted. Yeah, I'll pocket that energy bar. Another energy bar. Can I open this door? Or should I open this door? No. I could paint around a little easier. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. That's probably a big mistake on my part. Jesus. No! Just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all I care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. 
Listen, too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, that's all I know. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. It's a combination lock. Let's head back inside. Okay. You think? You're alleged. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with Aren't I supposed order, to be trying to get one that's pills? Out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eating about five feet away from me. And I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Couldn't figure it out, huh? <laughs> I, that, I exerted so much effort in my... Okay, so I can't get in this door. Told me how do I get in here? Is there a spot in the ceiling or something? Scope the ceiling. Didn't serve much purpose. Find anything? Track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee uh -oh. Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. Whoopsie. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? Sticking the first stage for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of. Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options.
Okay, so I used to own this store. Cricket? That? No. This is my dad's cane. He zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Uh, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you would have. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. Uh. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay. Here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. What a way to redirect. Alright, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and you don't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. I can relate. Ow! Who? Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. A little? You're a gusher. I'll find you a bandage. Where'd the first aid kit go? Let's have a look at that finger. No. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Yes, please. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're going to help Larry. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? No key. Yeah, 
That's what I figured. So where would the key be? I think it'd be in here somewhere. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? It's complicated. Sometimes things happen. You do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. What are you doing? Playing a game? What are you doing? Keys be. Okay, I can't keep walking that way. It's not great around zombies. You've got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor end, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a job. Well, I can't find this key. So let's, uh, let's roll. Hell's a damn key at. Hair needs. Wait a minute. Give me some energy bars. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. No. Oh. No, I don't care about the greeting cards. Let's go. Ready to head out? You got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. We gonna do this, I think. Jog and they're walking. Get down. It's a girl. We talked and 
She got frightened. I was trying to get in to help her, and then she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when these guys came out of the forest. A couple of us got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her. With or without you. Think about it if it was you. Hello. Who an axe? What does that say? Oh, I know. Okay. Daddy, can I turn this up because it's on zero? Do what? Can I turn it up a little because it's on? Not really. It's on zero. You can turn it up to like five. Quietly, it always attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. We still can't hear. We'll get over and look. Ow. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. I'm done trying to punch out windows. That's not what I want to do. Up. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. I know it's there. We can do something with that car, I bet. A bad idea. We're a little naked out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself. Yeah, I get that.
What are you gonna do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. I'm done trying to punch out windows. So what the fuck? Okay. No problem. Gonna need weapons. No shit. But you won't open the fucking door. There's gotta be something I can do with this pillow. That was productive, actually. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. Driving me nuts. I don't understand why that one keeps looking up. Let me see the spark plug. 
Whistle inside these things turns cold and burst of tissue paper. Okay. That could scramble brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Scooch your boot. Brain. Lee, get him. Nice. Thanks for having my back. For sure. Get the axe. I want the axe. That was awfully noisy. Sorry. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> <laughs> shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Two more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? We'll be right behind you. Lag behind, right behind, whatever. You know, same difference. Yep, that works. Rad. Dude, just by me says rad. Hello in there. We're here to help. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. She's in trouble. Miss, we're coming in. Stop, just stop. Coming out. I'm coming out. Like, dang it. Please. Dig a Please hole, bro. Please go. What if you turn and follow us back to our group? I know. That was why I was locked away. I can't let this happen to me. You have a gun. So, can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? No. Give it to me. I can just... You know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need to get going. Give it to me, please. This is crazy. Please, step back. 
it's just two seconds, just one moment, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Yes. Back up, please! No, this isn't going to be well. Should just axe her. Whoa, take it easy. Just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. <coughs> you need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! Pick up that cat. Get the hell out, bro. Puked. Let's get out of here. Yep, woke some of them up. Here they come. Run, fucker, run. Get in. Everyone, all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine. Okay. okay. I've got a few cans of gas. Good to hear it. And things back here? Why? Friends. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. I got an axe. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. Do our damnedest. Where's that damn door at? Nope. Wrong, wrong side. Wait a minute. How can I with those things out there? Can I axe the door down? Okay, that apparently didn't work. Keys aren't in here, though. Did I miss something? That's a remote. Nothing back here. What the keys at, bro? I wonder if they are back. I didn't even look back behind the cash register, but I don't really know how to get back there. Is there even a way to get back here? Move, Kenny. It's all now. Oh, yeah. No, I don't want to examine the food box. I have to find keys. Keys, 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 keys. How's it doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. We already had this discussion. I had to earlier. You didn't have to call me a bit in front of my people. I don't need that shit, alright? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some dick cutting down. That violence before with my dad didn't help. What's wrong? 
He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really the option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more of them. I mean, Jesus. We need to stick to... Yeah, you do that. I'm gonna search for this key that does not exist. Are right, you in my way? Hey Lee, maybe punching him wasn't such a good idea. You, you think? Says the guy who didn't get punched in the mouth. Anyway, we, Cap and I, appreciate your support. Thank you. It's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. Little kid. How is she doing? She's good. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so... We ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? You did kill. You think you do when you look back on but at a moment when things are really out of control. I guess. Well, show me find this key. Try to let it go. has to be somewhere in this office. It has to be. What am I missing in here? That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. Fixing it. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Where else can I look? Driving me nuts, I can't find the keys. I 
don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I don't feel it, man. Back to the motor. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. That's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess you really wanted that done. Seems like. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? Would you have given it to him? No way. Then you know why. Yeah, right. Why don't y'all just stop standing around and help me find this freaking key? Central High Tech Stand. Papers will be going. I don't care about the paper. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? No. <laughs> All right. Any ever moved? No. Where am I supposed to find this freaking key? Help me find the key. Sweet. Don't mention. try. It. I gotta go outside. How do I go outside? Oh, I'm going the wrong. Oh no, he's over here to the left. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yes. Let's have a look around. Okay. Okay, I've had this conversation. Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. Look at the one trapped over there. Better him than us, huh? Perk your genius.
Oh, it's my brother? That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Have at it, Doug. Those things are sensitive to noise. We can use sound as a distraction. That seems like the safest of all the dangerous options. What's the distraction? Yeah, buddy. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork Doug. Can't save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Ah! I got a few of them to take notice. I mean to do that. Fucker. Be careful. Keep it Go. Be waiting on. I ain't got time to reminisce.
Give me a second. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you to take care of him, that helped. Do it. Do it. Drop the hammer. Drop the hammer. Take his fucking head off. About time, God, that terrible aim. Get the keys. Could even hardly hobble earlier. Now I can full on sprint. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that yeah, we did. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's. Yes, go. yes, I am. My moms and pops are in here, it's gonna be fucked up. Oh no. Shit. We gotta hurry. She got a screwdriver in her back. Is that his mom? What am I supposed to do? Fire with my thumbs? Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. Hey Lee! If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Shut up, Doug! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit! Oh, on it. Are you sure? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh. Okay, then. Come in time. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Come in time. Did you find anything? Nothing. The cane. The can't oh good good girl.
This is not going well. Sorry, Doug. Sorry, bro. Let's go. I got Doug. You gotta move. Four. I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Thank you, Kenny. Especially a good friend. That guy's a prick. Last time I get somebody pills. Bummer, dude. Hmm. I think actually, on that note, since we are, uh, since I made it out of there, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call that the. Uh, first portion of this let's play and uh, I will definitely continue this with the uh, in the future um, hopefully I'll probably play it again um, I might do like every third day or something like that with this um, but again my, all my let's plays will be on this channel everything else will be on the QP lives channel uh, with the exception of I'm doing a uh, Borderlands 2 let's play that I have been playing on um, uh, at Twitch, but uh, I am coming back to YouTube fully in its entirety because I'm just not liking the Twitch thing at the t this moment in time. So, if you guys can, if you're new, subscribe. Um, Perk, I appreciate you hanging out, bro. Been good times. We need we need to play some Left 4 Dead 2 or something and uh, shoot some zombies and shit. So, uh, if you guys can, please remember to leave a like or a dislike, and I will uh, see you guys later.